Today I'm finally going to start looking at Amiga OS 3.2. Join me as I go through doing a setup of WinUAE. I bought my copy along with some Kickstart ROMs from the awesome Retro Passion. As you can see, we have a CD, which is a bit of a surprise. As a retro gamer, you think, oh, I've still got a CD drive in my PC. Oh, okay. Well, thankfully, I have a USB DVD drive still, and this has come to my rescue. So without further ado, let's get on the PC and make a start. So I've put the Amiga OS 3.2 CD into my machine, and here we are, here's the CD. The things that we're going to be most interested in is the ROMs folder here, and this is where you'll find all the Kickstart ROMs. So I've copied over those into my Kickstart folder in my WinUAE folder. So there we go, I've copied some of those. And as well, the most important thing is Workbench itself. So that's in the ADF folder. So if we go into there, what I've done is I've just cherry picked some of the ADFs. These are some of the disks that you need. Uh, you don't necessarily need the module ones because we're going to be having the latest Kickstart ROMs. Uh, so we, these won't be needed, uh, but things like workbench storage are needed. Uh, both Locale and Locale UK are required. So uh, the country that you've chosen, both the Locale disk as well. Things like Disk Doctor as well, classes and backdrops are also used as well. So let's go ahead and install Workbench 3.2. So I'm going to open up WinUAE and then I'm going to set up a new configuration. Quick start, we're going to use an Amiga 1200. We're going to put on uh, four megabytes of fast RAM as well. And let's set configuration there. And let's just go as fast as possible. Untick 24 bit and tick the JIT compiler as well. Bung in an FPU, just you don't require it, but let's just add it anyway. Um, keep it on 020 chipset yeah that's on AGA that's totally fine and then ROM we go default to uh, the classic Amiga ROM so we need to tell it actually I want to use a different ROM so we click on three dots and then we choose our kick a 1200 that we've copied over there we go that's selected RAM I'm just going to Increase to 8 megabytes, why not? Actually, we're not going to use Z2 because remember we're using 32-bit addressing. So we use uh, Zorro 3 memory. So I'm going to give it 128 megabytes of RAM. Uh, floppy disks, make sure you put it on turbo just to make things nice and fast. And then hard drives, right, let's pick a hard drive. Hard drive file. Let's, uh, we don't need to use PFS3 at all or anything because this actually comes with a newer version of the fast file system. Uh, so we don't need to do anything fancy with max transfer rates or anything. 3.2 has got that all baked in. Uh, let's uh, make a 300 megabyte uh, hard drive. We'll call it Workbench 3.2 uh, Mark 2. I've done this before, as you can see. Uh, there we go. And DH0 is going to be the device there. And that'll pretty much do. So yeah, we've got one hard drive, DH0. And uh, display, we can keep that all as default. So what we need to do is insert our first floppy disk. So if we go to DF0, choose install, actually, I'm going to add DF1 as well. Let's do a reset. In DF0, I'm going to put the install 3.2. And in that one, I'm going to put uh, Locale, I think is the first one that's used. So let's boot those up. Okay, there we go. So we've booted on the install disk. Uh, we can see DH0 is uninitialized, so we can just click on that. Go to icon format, not put a trash can in there, but I'm going to use long file names. I'm going to use the fast file system. Let's call this system quick format. 
yeah okay and format again remember with the newer 3.2 you can make hard drives that are much larger larger than four gigs which is normally the limit on the amiga but with this 3.2 you can make this hard drive as big as you want really but for today i'm, I'm just making a 300 megabyte one because it's just convenient let's go to install just go to install again i'm going to select english british okay and proceed and i'm going to install 3.2 because i'm installing it from a fresh uh, let's choose intermediate always like intermediate we're going to install it for real uh, i want to install it in system so it's picked that up already uh, english british yes uh, printers i will just leave postscript installed uh, all the different languages i don't want all the other languages i just want british obviously choose the language that you want do you want glow icons uh so that's for more than 16 colors yeah why not it uses a little bit more chip ram but we're not short on chip ram so there we go uh let's now put in workbench i think the first disc was workbench my mistake right let's put that in there and then disc doctor is the next one and then locale uk then Amiga Extras is next. Amiga Classes. Then Amiga Fonts. Amiga Storage next. Amiga Backdrops. Amiga Glow Icons. And then installation is complete. So all we'll need to do is reboot the Amiga. So let's just eject all the disks that we got and then click on reset and there we have it amiga os 3.2 installed uh things that i'd like to do because of these sort of like fancy fonts now they all look a little bit squished so the first thing i recommend doing is yeah going into preferences going to your screen mode just turn on uh high res uh interlace mode uh maybe put the colors up to 32 click on save click on use and then there we go things look a lot better the things that are kind of added to this new version is there's a nice text edit program in there uh, the show config which gives a lot of details about your Amiga so if you've got this in a real Amiga that would be quite useful uh, what other things have we got under utilities we've still got the multi view and the clock so those things haven't changed under system you've got a more revised and improved shell so uh, with the shell you can sort of like drag things into the shell and it auto completes for you which is nice uh, you've got the find tool which is obviously useful for finding things so if I type in mounter hopefully it's going to find it there we go nice and fast and you've got the option to view or start it or open the drawer that it's in so that's a nice little program uh, now we've got the format tool i don't think that's changed hardly at all yeah basically so, look, there's a lot of improvements under the hood um, and what i'm going to do is go be exploring this a little bit further in future videos but i thought let, let's just get installed you can follow along um, what I'm going to do in the next video is show some things that I'm going to do to change and maybe improve um, this installation. But um, basically, yeah, this is uh, Amiga OS 3.2. Uh, it's pretty exciting to have a new version of Amiga OS. Um, it's been out for a while and I've been meaning to do a video on this. But uh, finally, I'm getting around to doing it. And yeah, it's going to be really exciting to see what new things there are. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, nice quick video, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.